No. Hi, my name's Stan and this is my seven foot snooker table. It's in a room which is long enough to queue from the ends, but unfortunately it's not wide enough to queue from the sides. You see it from the sides, I can't get my queue in here. So what I've been doing is using a, a shortened queue, or in this case a kiddies queue, which is really not very satisfactory. So what's my uh, solution to this problem? Well, I can't move the walls, they made a brick, so I decided I would motorise the table. And to that end, I have fitted a groove roll to each of the four legs of the table. The groove roll is sat on a T-bar, which is fixed to the floor, is set level, and the two T-bars are parallel. The groove rollers on this side of the table are free rolling, and on this side of the table, the two uh, groove rolls are driven by a 12 volt DC motor, geared down to 10 RPM. I calculated that at 10, 2 RPM, 10 RPM, the table would move about two feet in um, maybe four seconds. If it's going any faster, I think the balls will probably start to wobble on the table. The gear motors are driven from a 12 volt power unit through this speed controller. And on each side of the table, there's a switch to move the table backwards or forward, like that. And back to me over here. Okay, I think it's time for a demonstration of how this actually works. So again, on this side of the table, can't get my cue in, so what do I do? I move the table until I have sufficient space for the cue to strike the cue ball. Similarly on this side of the table, if I uh, haven't sufficient space to again strike the cue ball, I can simply move the table back in the other direction until there's sufficient space for the cue Stand a cue to start the cue ball. Well, that's my solution to a, a room which is too narrow for my snooker table.